Okay, guys. Um, in what is becoming a sad ritual, please put your journals on the back. I'm going to take a moment and read them this weekend. Okay. I'm really going to try. Why are we doing these once again? Because it relates. We are now, listen, we're going to kind of put unit one and unit two together into a super unit called unit three. No, linear stuff, then geometry. Um, yeah, we already do oh, Wait, seriously? Well, we're doing it this way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But we were doing it this way. Yeah. Don't worry, we're going to have lots more, too. Okay, um, are we doing like, I've learned something like shapes, geometry. Uh, not this unit, but we will be. We're going to get one of those. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Second units in this in your first high school math course. Thank you very much. Um, so our first one was all about different types of relationships, not not like interpersonal relationships, but uh, um, but about you know like uh, relationships between numbers, and then. Our second unit was all about our second unit was all about was all about using using algebra skills to manipulate equations. Now we hinted, you know, we gave some examples towards the end for those equations related to real world physical things. Um, but today we're gonna start our third unit, uh, and I meant to print off your tracking sheets, and I uh, just, I, no, I didn't forget. I couldn't get to it. I was not able to, uh, was not able to get it done uh, in the finite amount of time available to me. It'll certainly happen for Monday. But there's six lessons in this unit. Um, it's it's a much narrower unit than the last one, which is nice. That's right. A lot of the skills you already know. Are we using like y equal to m? Yeah, we're going to talk about things like that, um, but not not at first. At first, we want to stick with the conceptual, and then we'll we'll formalize. Then we'll say, hey, this is what this should always look like. Um, but the whole idea with this is we're now going to use equations to describe things in the real world. We're also going to look at graphing those equations and how that works. Um, this. This is, in my mind, when this course gets really kind of fun and interesting. I like this stuff. I think that you're going to like this stuff too. I hope so. This, this tends to be the kind of material that I think is actually pretty interesting and engaging. 
So I want to start. Um, normally, I normally I think. I mean, I've never talked this course before. That shows me that. Sorry. Yeah, there we go. But I think normally uh, I would start something like this, or we teachers in general would start something like this by kind of defining the terms and then do an example and then ask you to do an example. But I want to kind of flip the script a little bit and see if we can work backwards. Because you guys did very well in our equations unit. Um, showed a lot of insight. So I, I think we can try it this way. I want you to imagine uh, like a health club, like a gym or something like that. And it's got two types of ways you can go. You can either go and just pay three bucks every time you make a visit. That's on the left. Or on the right, a flat fee of four dollars. What's that mean? Flat fee. Yeah, yeah. So four bucks, no tax, something like that. And the fact that it's a flat fee means what? It's a one time. Yeah. Every month I pay that. If I don't visit, do I pay that? Yeah. 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 If I go thirty times, do I still have to pay that four bucks? No. Yeah. No matter what, you pay the four bucks. And then, after we pay the four bucks, how much is each visit? Two dollars. Two dollars. Does that make sense? Anyone tell us about the cost for membership? Yeah. But things are supposed to be a little bit cheaper there. At the beginning of the year, you have to pay a membership fee, right? I chose this example. We're going to you know, deal with Costco and things like that a little later on uh, because it's nice numbers. Can we call Costco free samples? Or free food? Okay. Sure. Okay. Yeah, you bet. Um, yes. So. Now, just in general, before I even put anything up there, let me ask you what kind of person would be better off just paying when they visit versus what kind of person would be better off paying a flat fee and then paying $2 a visit? What do you Sure. So you're thinking if you don't go very often, three bucks a visit might be a better idea. So you think if you went a lot, the members only the flat fee of four bucks might be better. Yeah, thoughts? Uh, the other one you can think about that you go every morning or afterwards. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I had a gym membership once back in my healthy days. Um, and so for about like two years, I used to go a lot. I used to go like it was right next to my word. And I went like, yeah, just about every day, it was good and relaxing. So I used to work these long, long, long shifts. And I used to put like 14 hour shifts in. And uh, and you just want, to, and, and you know, work was pretty, you know, dealing with people and customers and stressful. And so it's just the idea of going and lifting something heavy seemed to feel like. And then one day I just stopped going. So I discovered, you know what else is great after a long shift? Eating. And then going right to bed. Um, so I really, I took a little shift in how I approached my life. Shift. Um, Get it? I thought, yeah. So, so I never canceled my gym membership. I just didn't think of it. You know, it's just one of those things. Just didn't think of it. You can't pull it now, right? Yeah. But like three years later, one day I looked at my bank account. I was like, "Thirteen months to build my fitness." I wonder how long that's been going on. <laughs> and I had spent hundreds of dollars on the gym. I mean, just hundreds of dollars. Like three and a half years at thirteen bucks a month. And I, and I hadn't been in that three and a half years. I hadn't been once. It was ridiculous. And I still felt guilty canceling it. It was like finally admitting to myself that I'd given up on being healthy. Yeah. So you're pretty much like Ross when you had to try to quit the gym? Who? Oh, is that for? I never, I've heard of it. My wife told me that's what I was like, but I've never seen that episode. But, is it, but honestly, they, okay, because they make it really hard. You go there, you're like, oh, I'm in my gym membership. And they, they bring out like the shame committee of like six people to be like, well, you just have to fill these forms out. We're just going to like put you on the TV while you fill out like, uh, anyway. I felt like going in with like a paper bag over my head and being like, I swear, I'm going to the gym across town. But it's not true. I wasn't. I, was like, I stopped at McDonald's on the way here. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> so, if you're a gym goer like me, Shayla suggests, eh, maybe just pay a little more per visit and you'll be fine. And Nathan suggests that if you're a gym goer like his dad, he's there every day, 
well, then maybe members only is a better deal. And I think you both are right. Does that make sense to everybody? Mm -hmm. Because even though you have to pay four bucks up front, if you're paying less every visit, eventually you're going to save money, right? Can we figure out exactly when that might happen? Okay, okay, okay. That was, that was still at the rhetorical stage of the question. I promise. We'll get there. What I want to suggest is this. I want to make an equation. How does cost depend on how many times you go to the gym in the drop-in set? Yeah, Okay, sure. If I went to the drop-in, what would it cost you five times? Good, 15. How did you do that? You're totally right. That's okay. Very good. Five times three. If I went 10 times at the drop-in one, what would it cost you? Good. How did you do that? 10 times three. So you're taking the number of visits and you're multiplying it by three. Because that's what it costs. So what should I put in here to make this equation true? Cost equals 3F. Yeah. 3F. Yeah. $3 times how many times I go? Yeah. Why is it look so confusing oh, adding no, that? I thought it like, I don't know, you don't use any other words. It is Y. Okay. Yeah. 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 How's that? Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. That's my line. Um, how's this? Is that reasonable? Yes. Well, then let's look. So for the drop-in, that's pretty easy to calculate, isn't it? We just take three, we multiply it by how many times we go. I want you to fill this table in down here. Shouldn't take you long at all. Okay, well, aren't you fancy? So take a moment, fill this in. Yes, this. Okay, good. I, I will come and ask you. So I want you to fill in. So the drop-in gym, if I go zero times, what's it cost? One, two, three, all the way up to eight. Oh, and you're way ahead of me. You're too quick for me. Good job. <laughs> Sorry? I forget this. That's okay. We're going to talk about it. Whoa. So I want you to fill this out for the drop-in. Put the equation there, and then just... Fill it in. Can I see? Yeah, you're doing great. Good job. You're done good, kid. Can I see? Oh, what? The... Yeah, like like all those numbers are good. They all just need to shift down one, right? But all those numbers are good. You just got ahead of yourself. Can I see? Yeah, that's great. Can I see? Yeah, very good. Well done. Perfect. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Can I do uh... Why two, not three? 
Do you mind passing over these three dots? If you put them, oh, what am I doing? Oh, wait, you just really want to buy something in the Microsoft <laughs> store, eh? I don't know if I've ever bought anything in the Microsoft store before. Yeah, you gotta do it in the middle. Then you can use the What are you doing? She's doing great. It's the first time I'm doing that. So, what else? I think she's doing great. You guys fucking suck. No. Thanks. Thanks, Alex. I don't know what I'm supposed to be highlighting. Different colors. So, at least that one. Highlight the four blue as well. And then use a different color to do the two with the two. I don't know what to see. Good. So, what we're saying here is this. We can figure out, we can figure out how much this one costs, because it costs two bucks per visit. But, but, no matter how many times we visit, it's always going to cost four. Flat rate. Because that's what they do. They charge us four bucks. Be smart to remember to change it back to pen. Otherwise, we're going to write something. It's going to be a highlight. Oh, you're going to have it. She's so I don't touch that. Yeah. Is there a possible way that no, so listen, that's a great question. Let's explain what this what this equation does. It says it says that the cost is gonna be two times n for two dollars for every visit you go, and then this four that doesn't change. If you go a hundred times, you only pay the four one. If you go two times, you only pay the four months because that four is going to be multiplied by anything. It is just all by itself. So I want you to try and fill out the same chart, this time for the members only club. How much do we pay to go to the members only club? <laughs> That's fancy. Yeah. Uh, so members only club, what do you have to pay no matter what? Four dollars. Yep, but what about zero? If I don't go at all. When I didn't go to the gym, 